is what bioluminescent bacteria feels like. Amazing. I've never seen them in these concentrations before. And they go on for miles and miles. They glow and they feel like slime. I love them. Strange. Ant? Totally. But what can you do? Ah! <sighs> Sorry. Slipped. Normally, all of this would be eaten. Ugh. Not by me. No, 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 no! <laughs> Slipped. <laughs> Let's go see why the fish in Taiwan aren't hungry. Take us forward slowly, Fontaine. Huh. No fish. You mean there are low concentrations? He means none. There are no fish on sonar within five kilometers. Well, the smaller ones wouldn't show up on sonar. No, the fish. All the fish are just gone. The ocean is empty. My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are explorers, and we explore the deep. The Taiwanese fishermen sound frustrated. There are no fish to catch. Very unusual. Our instruments show volcanic activity on the seabed, Ant. Maybe that's producing poisonous gases. Uh, I'm not reading any toxins. Theory number one just crashed and burned. And I don't have a theory number two. I can see algae, larval shrimp, the occasional nematodes. It's like an all-you-can-eat buffet here. Just no fish to eat it. It's okay, Jeffrey. Come on in. The water's fine. Right. Let's see how deep this problem goes. I'll take us down. It's okay, Mom. I've got this. Are you sure? You've never piloted below a thousand meters before. You said I needed more piloting hours. The depth should be part of my practice. Mom, if Fontaine is driving, could you get Jeffrey and maybe make him a little seatbelt? Bye, Aunt. Hey, wait for me! Most fish live in the top sunlight zone, so let's try below 200 meters. What if the twilight zone is empty too? Then we're in very strange territory indeed. And you should be able to see fish here that have adapted to low light. Nope, they're staying away. Maybe they just don't like you. Or there's some major fish party that we haven't been invited to and everyone else has tickets. I'll admit, it's a long shot. Come back inside, Ant. We're going deeper. Okay, we're below a thousand meters. Welcome to the midnight zone. Around 180 atmospheres of pressure are squeezing against the Aranax right now. Fontaine, slow, steady moves, please. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, come to port. Three degrees, Fontaine. I saw it too. Look. Kill the interior lights. Anglerfish? It's possible. But many species use bioluminescence down here. At least it's something. Nice to see you guys! So we do have fish in the midnight zone. Ah! Ah! What happened? Outside temperature rising. Volcanic thermal vents. Stay clear. Trying. Gently. My remote diagnostics picked up multiple alarms. It's okay, Professor. We're handling it. Are you really at 190 atmospheres? Boiling water rising fast enough to pick up pieces of seabed. I've never seen vertical currents this strong. Mom! It's okay, Fontaine. I've got this. Thermal vents in the midnight zone are no place for a driving lesson. Thanks. So, if all the fish seem normal down deep, then the problem is up here, right? I've got something on sonar. 
A large object. Another submarine? No, it's not solid. But what is it? You're the marine biologist. You tell us. Is that every fish in the area altogether? I told you there was a fish party we weren't invited to. Coming to full stop. I need pictures here. <sighs> totally bizarre. What are they all looking at? I have to see this up close. Fontaine, take over. You'll be fine. Very, very strange. They don't even notice me. They're turning to port now. What's glowing? Uh, I'm not sure. Moving closer. Just be very careful, Keiko. Fish are letting me brush them aside like they don't care. There's something moving in the center. A creature? About half the size of the rover. But so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, the pretty woody creature. This is cuddly woody. Okay, that's uncomfortable. Mom, can you hear me? Keiko? Uh, you okay? Talk like an adult if you can hear me, okay? Oh, pretty. Her vital signs are fine. Pulse normal, blood pressure normal, but she's not responding to us. It's like she's in a trance. Are you reading me, Keiko? Uh, Mom's still controlling her night. That's good, I suppose. Fish keep getting drawn to the light, like they're hypnotized. I've checked everything in our database. Nothing matches this. Bioluminescent blurs are used to attract prey to eat, right? Well, um, yes. Right now, Keiko is prey. I'm going to get her. Dad! Hey! You might need these. Mom's welding goggles. They'll cut out most of the creature's light. Good thinking. Hey, I'll bring her back. Don't worry. Is it possible that those geysers of warm water forced this thing up from the midnight zone without it disintegrating? It's not unprecedented. For example, sperm whales go down and back. They're strong enough to withstand the pressure difference. It's changing course. Fish up here have never seen a bioluminescent lure. It doesn't need to hunt. Fish come to it. And Professor, bioluminescence attracts fish, not people. Oh, uh, but light affects people too, Fontaine. We get vitamin D from sunlight. There's sunburn, and strobe lights can make people ill. I still think it's hypnotism. Remember when I put you under? For five minutes, you thought you were a penguin. <laughs> what? You will forget I said anything. Switching on the rover's infrared camera. Good. We can't afford to see the creature's visible light spectrum. Will to Keiko. Can you hear me? Got her! Yes! Good job, All Dad! Right. I can see. Dad? Dad, what's happening? No, no, no! Don't do it! Who's the pretty one? Yeah, it's you. It's not me. It's you who's the pretty one. <laughs> Good.
If we can't get mom and dad away from that glow, they're never coming back. Dad, talk to us. Coochie, coochie, coo. <laughs> the rover's remote control system. We can bring it back. Yes! <laughs> I love it when a plan comes in. <gasps> no! Dad just overrode the remote. I think this is a good idea. Two knights are stronger than one. Maybe we can grab mom and drag her back. Then worry about the rover. How do we see? We don't. We can't afford to. We'll rely on instruments. You know how I'm often critical of your harebrained ideas? So often. <sighs> I've got nothing better. I'll take that. Jeffrey, I'm leaving you in charge. I have complete faith in you, Captain. Turn on your sonar. Uh, I knew that. Activating stealth mode too. I'm keeping a low profile. Only for radar. He can still see you. Okay, the fish just changed direction. Again. Is it lost? Is that what's going on? even looking at us. Wait, the cloud has stopped moving. Something's happening. The creature's coming. It's a gigantic anglerfish. What's it doing up here? It's heading towards you. Uh, but I'm undercover. I'm in stealth mode. Why me? Am I the fish mind reader? I don't know. Okay, stay in calm. You're my backup if it tries to eat me. You got me, right, Fontaine? Kinda. Just don't move. What do you think it's doing? It seemed to be lost, but now it's staring at you. Like it's found something. Well, I am very charismatic. To a fish? Jeffrey thinks so. Of course he does. Just don't move a muscle, Mr. Charisma. Am I allowed to breathe? I'd prefer you didn't. I can't stand this! It's like it's sizing me up! Thinking, will it take a bite of arm or leg? They both look so good. Oh, why was I cursed with being so appealing to fish? One of the world's great mysteries. Okay, I'm gonna move aside. Slowly. Not smart, but that's so you. It's moving with you. But why? <sighs> Just go away! You shouldn't even be here. Go home! Wait a minute. Ant, disengage stealth mode. Are you crazy? What for? Just trust me. I hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too. It's swimming away. But why? I'm still food. It was attracted to the Shadow Knight's stealth glow. It's almost identical to its own. Maybe it thinks you're related. That's it. Come on. And? Loves that mirror. Eh, she won't mind. Now, I need you to follow behind me in the Aranax. We'll use a claw arm to grab mom and dad. Great idea, except I can barely see anything on the infrared monitors through all those fish. It would be like picking a needle out of a haystack. Just follow me. I'll start leading that thing down, back to where it belongs. Once we get deeper, some of those fish won't be able to take the pressure, and they'll start to back off. That's when you grab the rover with the claw. At those depths, it'll be harder for me to steer the ship and maneuver the arm. I know, but it's the best harebrained idea I've got. Are you up to it? As long as it gets mom and dad back, that's all I care about. Me too. Stay close to me. I'll try. Hang in there, dad. This will work, mom. Trust me. Hey, slow drivers! Move! Coming through! Fear left! Look out! Okay, there you are. All right, fish. Who is this? Like what you see? So far, so good, Fontaine. Keep it smooth. Come on, that's it. Let's 
Just get you home. Come deeper. Okay. Entering the midnight zone. A lot of these fish won't be able to handle the pressure here. visual uh ant how deep are you going as deep as i have to Ant, we didn't discuss this the rover can go right to the very bottom but not the aranax and definitely not the knights my knight is stronger than you think and you're not as strong as you think maybe but home for this guy is down deep in the midnight zone not my favorite zone to drive in you can do it fontaine <sighs> gentle moves Take it easy. Uh, huge pressure here. Getting really hard to move. I'm reading 219 atmospheres. 219 times normal, Ant. I don't want to think about it. Our friend is feeling fine. For him, it's like a walk in the park. I think it's time. It's your turn now, Fontaine. Come on. I'm being gentle. Okay, pressurizing the moon pool room. Equalizing with the midnight zone pressure. Engaging claw arm. Contact. Are you sure the claw arm is stronger than the rover? Um, when I say plan, it's really more of a shot in the dark. And you're telling me this now? Ah! Thermal vents here! I can't hold this for long! Then we'll have to be quick! It's time for part two! can do this. Up to me. No! Look out, Ant! So much for gentle moves. I'm not letting go. Now or ever! What's happening? Okay, Dad. I need you to grab Mom. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Okay. What? Where am I? Ant, you did it! It's following all of its reflections down! 
Safe travels, big guy. Come back to the Aranax. The fish are safe now. And so is the amazing hypnotist. Dad, don't open the canopy. The pressure is too strong. Thanks for that. I feel like I've just woken up from the nicest dream. Okay, that's one way of looking at it. Do you think that is the creature's mother? Well, there's a definite family resemblance. Family reunions are a good thing. He's back home now. Let's hope he stays down there. You guys did very well. We should let Fontaine pilot more often. Thanks. Well, that'll be up to Jeffrey. Huh? He's captain now. Gee, you fall into one trance and you miss so much. It's okay, Captain Jeffrey. The good news is, you'll never have to see the scary fish again. Bad news is, you still have to see Ant. Apparently, that was humor, Jeffrey. 